Former South Dakota Governor Harvey Woolman has died. His family announced he passed away of natural causes on Tuesday at 87 years old. Tonight, Kevin Tom Hansen takes a look back at Woolman's life and career. Harvey Woolman, a farmer and teacher from Hitchcock, became the 26th governor of South Dakota in 1978. He took over the office when Dick Knipe was appointed U.S. ambassador to Singapore. Woolman has the distinction of being the last Democrat to sit in the governor's chair in South Dakota. His term lasted a little more than five months, ending on January 1, 1979, when he was succeeded by Republican Bill Janklow. Woolman first went to Pierre in 1968, representing Spink, Hand, and Hyde counties. In his time at the Capitol, one of the things Woolman fought for was more open government. In 1973, he led efforts to bring lawmaking out of the back rooms. You know, all the major decisions were made behind closed doors. And I've been opposed to that uh, in the four years that I've been around here. And I said, if I'm ever in a position to do something about it, I'm going to do it. After serving as lieutenant governor and governor during the mid and late 70s, Woolman left politics. He did, however, contemplate a political comeback in the years after. Here he is talking with Kelloland News in 1983. I still haven't got it out of my system, having served in the governor's office for a short time, that I think I could be a very successful and very good governor. But it wasn't meant to be, and politics fell by the wayside. Woolman stayed busy, serving on many boards and farming. He also enjoyed his hobby of flying small planes. He and his wife traveled abroad a lot and enjoyed spending time with their three kids and their families. Funeral services for Harvey Woolman will be announced in the coming days. Tom Hanson, Kelloland News. A woman was also instrumental in establishing the USD School of Medicine. Senator Mike Rounds says Woolman left a lasting legacy on the state of South Dakota. Rounds first met Woolman while serving as an intern in the state legislature. Governor Kristi Noem has ordered flags to be flown at half-staff until the day of Woolman's internment.